Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about what's happening with Coinbase, why you shouldn't be worried, and overall my kind of perception of what's going on. Before I jump on in here, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Ledin. Ledin is a great place to get a Bitcoin mortgage, so if you can't get qualified for a mortgage and you've got a bunch of, bunch of Bitcoin, you can get a Bitcoin mortgage that way, or you can borrow against your Bitcoin and use it for anything else you'd like. Again, it's a little bit risky here because you can't get margin called. Make sure you either watch my content on margin or you go read up on it by yourself. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and jump on in to the newsletter. So uh, this newsletter I first write on Thursdays in the held report. Subscription link is here um, or the description. But uh, write us up Thursdays and then this is for my paid subscribers. And then on Sundays, you hear it from me. Okay, cool. So Coinbase is one of the biggest exchanges in the space. I, I, by the way, work at Kraken. So we're competitors, but Coinbase is a great exchange. They've been around a long time. They're one of the biggest in the space. And so there's been a series of bankruptcies going on with the lending and borrowing platforms. And so because of that, a lot of people were looking at exchanges and wondering like, hey, do these have issues as well? So I don't think this is correct, though. I think this is super misguided. It's sort of looking at one type of business and claiming that they're that other types of businesses are going to do poorly. And that's not what's happening. Um, they make most of their money on like trading, staking and other activities. If they do have margin or lending, they're compartmentalizing the platform with their own margin pool. They don't they're not really banks. They're not like lending out crypto uh, with their like either customers crypto or their balance sheet. So I think it's super misguided. Um, there was a couple different series of events here that led people to get freaked to lead people to be freaked out. One was the unsecured creditor disclosure. So in their Q1 quarterly report, because they're publicly traded, they put in this clause that said, moreover, because custodial held crypto assets are that may be considered to be the property of a, a bankruptcy estate in the event of a bankruptcy, the crypto assets we hold in custody on behalf of our customers could be subject to bankruptcy proceedings and such customers would be treated as our general unsecured creditors. Well, Needless to say, people didn't like that quote because it <laughs> it sounds pretty shitty, right? Um, so there's a ton of conspiracy theories as to like, oh, well, maybe they're insolvent or this is like them trying to cover their ass. No, it's not that. It's They're not at risk of going bankrupt. The language included in the 10Q form, the quarterly reporting, as a new requirement from the SEC. So Brian Armstrong, through these series of tweets, said essentially this is fine. Um, you don't need to worry about this. And he's right. Um, you know, I, in it. You know, I, I don't think like, it's just so silly. It's a publicly traded company. They're not doing crazy shit like these other like very shady fly by night exchanges. OK, that was the first big piece of news. Then there were the layoffs. So Coinbase laid off 18 percent or eleven hundred employees as the markets continued to deteriorate. But this wasn't out of the ordinary for a crypto bear market. As this chart from Coindesk shows, this is pretty common. Now, these numbers are bigger for Coinbase because they're a bigger company. But overall, a lot of people have been laying off 10 to 20 percent of staff. So this is not that crazy. Um, so Coinbase is, I think, I think, par for the course here. And then the final kind of big event was Coinbase shutting down their affiliate program. This happened about a week or two ago. Um, and so this was leaked to Business Insider that that some of the top affiliates got an email that said, hey, basically, we're discontinuing the program. So I work in growth marketing. Growth marketing touches on affiliate marketing. Uh, I haven't personally done that, but my team did that. And so for those who aren't uh, familiar, it's an affiliate marketing program is where Coinbase pays a website or influencer who sends them new users. So for example, in this YouTube video, if I was like, hey, check out Coinbase, then you would find that link below. They would be like, okay, everyone you send us, we'll give you X amount of dollars. So obviously for me, that'd be more of, hey, go check out Kraken because I'm from, I'm with Kraken. But um so this led to kind of wild speculation that uh, Coinbase shutting down their affiliate program equaled red flag or liquidity crisis. I mean, I, I have no idea how you possibly extrapolate that. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's like it, it would be equivalently the, the equivalent um, thing for Coinbase to be doing here would be like, hey, we're, we're stopping all spending on marketing. That's not a liquidity issue. That's a, simply an acquisition issue. Um, they're just stopping it. They're stopping buying. The, they're just, they're they're not going to go pay any more money to go acquire customers. So the ultimate equation here for a user acquisition uh, individual, and this is what my background is, is they want to acquire a customer, which is a CAC customer acquisition cost more cheaply than the lifetime value that the customer will bring the revenue LTV. And so if those numbers don't make sense, they could shut the program down because they needed to revamp it. Um, maybe their analytics weren't, weren't working properly and they were misattributing uh, attribution and understanding where you're, new signups are coming from is incredibly difficult. Fraud could also be higher than expected, which is kind of always an issue with this. But by no means is it a liquidity issue. Um, 
And even if Nate O'Brien was, <laughs> and he even said it incorrectly, it's, 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 it would be more of insolvency, not liquidity. Liquidity is the, the depth of their order book and how much volume is flowing through. It means there could be a profitability issue. That's, that's a classic uh, business problem. So overall, I think there's, this, there's a ton of anxiety here going on, and I don't really see any sort of reason to be freaking out. Coinbase is a publicly traded company. That means that all of their financials are publicly available for us to review. As of Q1, Coinbase is sitting on $6.2 billion in cash. In Q1, they also had a $429 million loss because they had hired too many people. Let's say that they cut costs at an equivalent rate to lost revenue because you know revenue is dropping as well as the crypto market's cool. A, if let's say they had a $429 million loss every single quarter, um, let's just say that, that that happened. Let's say that like that's their, their loss every quarter. They could still survive 14 quarters on their cash balance. Now, I know this is some funky math, but this just gives you some kind of general framing here on this isn't a big deal. They're going to cut costs. They're going to try to figure out how to cut costs to match revenue So they and then maybe burn through that cash if they have to, but they're going to use that as a safety buffer. Um, and even if they ran out of cash, they could go to the markets and, and you know, remember they're a publicly traded companies, so they could go uh, raise a bond, they could go um, get some more investment. So this isn't this isn't the end of the world, even if they ran out of that, and they're not very far away from that. Hope this makes you feel a little bit better about the situation. I think they're totally fine. People are freaking out, but it's going to be okay. I don't really see an issue with the major exchanges. A lot of these are very, very professional, for example, like Kraken as well. Kraken doesn't take those sort of risks. So... Hope you enjoyed. If you like this, subscribe or uh, give it a comment. It helps with the algorithm, helps get this out to more people. Appreciate it. Cheers. Bye.